Good morning everybody, hope you're all well and safe wherever you are in the world. First of all, thank you very much for tuning in today and taking the time to listen to my live talk on Facebook today. So quick introduction for those who don't know me. Um, my name is Nadia Bajrami. I am a strategic hypnotherapist, mind coach and a psychic medium based in Dublin, Ireland. Uh, I am really happy to be here today with you. And today the topic is hopefully a short talk because uh, I don't really like to, I wouldn't like to <laughs> uh, bore you to, to tears. So the talk today is about how through uh, my psychic and mediumship readings or uh, how as a psychic medium I can help you with guidance and healing. So, uh, we will also finish the, the talk with a quick um, exercise, uh, a meditation exercise on how you can develop your sixth sense or open your third eye, what we call the extrasensorial uh, perception. Now, uh, just before I go any further, uh, I did mention at the beginning that I was a therapist, a coach, as well as a psychic medium. And why it is important to understand this, it's because Every one of us in the holistic you know, world or the healing world, we all have a unique way to help people, to heal people, to guide people. Uh, for myself, I can only talk for myself you know, today, is that I am a therapist, hypnotherapist, I am uh, a coach and a psychic medium, and I really use my therapy and coaching, uh, as well as my spiritual side, to help my clients, to help my sitters, my clients, with the bespoke therapy, guidance and healing. And again, I do repeat, we're all very unique, so it's just very important to mention that, you know, all of us, we all have our own way of helping people, and it's really important that each one of us, as well as healers, we do understand this. We're all unique, so there is no need for anyone to compare themselves to other people. There's plenty for everyone out there, you know, to help. Okay, so... Now, what I want also to, to just clarify before we go any further is what is a psychic, what is a medium, uh, you know, why, what is the difference, and then we will go into the, the guidance and healing side of my activity. So, um, what is a psychic? According to you, what is a medium? I think some of you might know, some of you might not, so I will just clarify briefly. So, a psychic, I am a psychic medium, so a, a psychically what I do is I will connect soul to soul with people, I will read their energy, not their mind, you know, psychics are not mind readers, otherwise, you know, we would know plenty more things for our own lives <laughs> and that would go against all the laws of the universe we cannot know everything but we read energy so on a psychic level what I will do is I will read your energy and I will be able to help you and tell you things about your past your present and your would say middle term short term future according to what I pick up from you okay now this is very interesting we will actually go deeper in the talk on the psychic side as well. I just wanted to clarify the difference. So a psychic is a human to human, a soul to soul connection, okay? Now, what is it I do on a mediumship side, on a medium side, okay? On a mediumship side is I do connect me, a human being, or what we call an incarnate being, which is here living. Uh, I connect with your loved ones and spirit world. So I do connect with discarnate spirits, discarnate entities, okay? Uh, very welcome to everybody who's joining in us now. Thank you for tuning in. <laughs> so mediumship. I am a medium and a psychic. Psychic, we've been through that. Medium, I do connect with your loved ones and spirit world. What is, why do we say medium? Because something very, very simple. Medium is because we meet in the middle with the spirit, which means me as a human incarnate living being here, I do uh, raise my vibration to meet your loved one in spirit world and they have to lower their vibration so we meet in the middle, okay? Thus, or hence, the, um, the term medium, okay? Now, the, the, when I do a reading, I very often give... I, I actually do mainly mediumship meetings and then I end up with, uh, I finish, sorry, with some psychic insights. But it is very important for you before we go any further to really understand the difference about a psychic and a medium because out there there's a lot of people, you know, that say they do things and, and that it's not always clear to people. So it's important if you want 
to know things psychically, I will connect to your energy. I will help you picking up on, on what I feel from you. And I will help you with guidance, which we will see uh, shortly how I do that. Now, if you want mediumship readings, it is a very powerful activity because it, is, it requires even more energy than a psychic reading because I do have to work a lot on my energy level and my vibrations to actually tune in to the spirit world, make sure I get all the right messages and relay them to you, okay? So this is the difference. Psychic living to living, mediumship is living to uh, people who have passed in spirit world, okay? Also, just on the psychic side, something to mention is whatever guidance, or whatever I pick up from you, I will actually give you what I perceive, what I feel. But remember that you all have your free will and everything will depend, you know, on, on, on your own deeds and whatever you've done in your life and your path and the outcome will change when or if you choose a specific direction. So I might be telling you something today on, on a psychic level, but if you choose to take another route, another path, the outcome will obviously change. Okay, again, this is the law of the universe. Everybody has a free will. We're really here. I'm really here as a guide, as um, an assistant, if you want. Okay? Now, let's maybe now go a little bit deeper on how as a psychic and medium in general and how me anyway today i'll talk about me again i can't talk about everybody else but generally speaking psychic mediums are here for guidance and healing so how do i actually help my sitters my clients with guidance and healing before going any further as well let's uh, let's go let's maybe just dive in a little bit to what is uh, spiritual you know what is spirituality what is a spiritual what is spirituality? The world, okay? So I would define spirituality as the way individuals seek and express meaning and purpose and the way they experience their consciousness and the connectedness to the moment, to self, to others, to nature, and to the significant or sacred, okay? Also, it's important to understand that there are times in our lives when we recognize our spiritual needs and look for spiritual resources. You know, a lot of people that come and see me, they tell me, okay, Nadia, I'm a crossroad now. I need, I feel I'm growing spiritually. I feel I need, uh, I need some, um, some guidance. So we search for meaning. There are times in life we do search for meaning and, you know, for the spiritual awakening. And, and I'm going to use a, a term, a Japanese word that is very interesting, which is ikigai. And it's meaning a reason for being. And that which gives life significance or provides a reason to get up in the morning most closely encompasses the spirituality in our lives. So it's a very, very nice term to remember. Ikigai, it's a Japanese term, just to say what that that gives us purpose in life. And oftentimes it is really when we are faced with death, with grief, with loss, that we search for a meaning. We search for a higher meaning in our life. And yet, it's also during these difficult times very often that we often find new opportunities for spiritual growth. And it's about asking the questions, what has my life meant? And what is my purpose? Again, we're coming back to spirituality, you know. Spiritual guidance, care and healing involve one person helping another to think about spiritual issues and concerns in an affirming, non-judgmental and nurturing way. It's very important. Spiritual guidance is helping with spiritual issues and questions in a non-judgmental and nurturing way. So whether you are looking for spiritual guidance and healing in a major life change or any other areas of life, uh, you know, spiritual uh, psychics and, and mediums are here to help you eliminate your soul. And this is my goal. I'm really here to help you eliminate your soul. I see some of my friends tuning in as well from France. I'm delighted to see you here, guys. Thank you very much. Now, indeed, at different times in our life, each one of us may need a helping hand. And I'm really repeating this, sorry, helping hand. We may need a little guidance, insight, or understanding, and want to communicate with a loved one who has passed over the spirit world, or we feel we would benefit from healing a part of our emotional, of a spiritual, physical self, that needs to be restored. Remember as well that whatever happened in our life gets embedded in our body as well. You know, the pain, the pain in our bodies are very much 
a link to some traumas that we might have had or some experiences that we might have been through in our life, okay? Uh, we might, uh, we sometimes do feel the need to consult what we call, you know, an intuitive person, a skilled and psychic sensitive to help us find a way forward in our spiritual work. Our relationship are just in general a life pathway. So as we explore, explore our life difficulties, anxieties and uh, resourceful way of solving our problems and attaining healthier and happier lifestyles, we will then, you know, very often turn to intuitive people, psychics or mediums for some guidance and healing. So me, again, I work as a psychic medium, a spiritual healer, a strategic hypnotherapist, a mind coach, life career coach, a spiritual coach. And I give guidance, insights and understanding to allow the holistic healing to take place. OK, so what do I do? I using my intuition in a compassionate style in a compassionate way my own unique way with or sometimes without any tools sometimes with cards sometimes with pendulum etc i will show and guide you through the pathways and options that are open to you and i will he be here to answer any questions you have on a specific aspect or different aspects of your life i do assist individuals to understand and reprogram their behaviors their patterns and release any negative emotions access and anchor positive states and I give the tools needed to maintain the desired goal through the therapy and the readings okay and this is allowing the promotion of personal empowerment and change because at the end of the day the very important thing is really to empower yourself and to 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 reach the desired change you know this is the important things we can talk all day but why do we need to grow why do we feel the need to grow spiritually to 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 actually go above and beyond to find a purpose it's really to empower ourselves to grow to to like to do what we're meant to be doing here on earth you know we're all born with a purpose and this is the important thing to understand so let's dive in in how i can help you now a bit more in detail on your soul path and healing process so I will take mediumship as a start. Take mediumship to start with. So me connecting to spirit world, okay? A soul connection to uh, spirit, so, sorry, spirit loved ones, okay? So as previously explained, during a mediumship reading, I do raise my vibration and energy to be able to exchange, um, to exchange with your loved one who have there to lower their energy and meet halfway so we can communicate. Now let's stop here just for a moment and realize how amazing this is just this is to see that your loved ones take the time to, to come and talk to you and show you that they are still very much around you to help you with your earthly life and worries and challenges. So this is this is just to start with an amazing thing. I'm actually amazed every single day of my life when I do when I do work with spirit world. So once a connection is established with your loved ones in spirit world, I do give information, even though this information is not, you know, seeable or observable to others. So it is subjective, but I will give you the information from your loved ones in spirit world without any interpretation. I will relay it as best as I can. So my, my first mission in the mediumship reading is really to give you proof of life after death. Okay, proof of life that your loved one are still very much around you. So how do we do that? For example, I will give you specific evidence uh, as the cause of passing, who they are, the relationship with, you know, with your loved one, information about their personality, their work, their hobbies, uh, the personality traits, shared memories, and, and also the way they can communicate with you, you know. So once you, my sitter, you now my client acknowledges the spirits that has come forward, a step forward. I then relay the messages, the, the loving messages to you. Now, in all the readings I've done so far, remember, and this is something very important, I must really stress that all the messages have always been filled with love and light. Communication with spirit world is a love loving and kind communication. So please remember there is absolutely nothing to fear about. Now, why are these messages so important, you know, in this topic of guidance and healing? Because first of all, they are very clear proof that your loved ones who have passed are doing absolutely fine. 
they are happy where they are and they are still looking after you and that they will never stop looking after you and that now more than ever more than even when they were physically present on earth they will look after you and because you have an overall vision of your life and thus they can send you messages you need to hear and that might help you take the next needed step or might help you gain clarity in a specific situation that or something is happening around you or that something has been troubling you as well you know a very important thing to remember as well is that once arrived in spirit world your loved ones are rid of their earthly worries and concern and they get a very clear and better understanding of their own actions on earth and they use this newly gained knowledge to help you with your current situations or questions and help you acquire a vision they did not have when on earth so this is what i mean why it's so amazing it's because they're actually helping you save some time as well they have they're helping you coming through channeling through you know myself in this instance to say okay i've been through that i've done a few things so you know now i have a better understanding so you can listen to my advice and save some time and maybe understand that whatever you worry about will be fine you know so this is very important to understand on top of that, during a mediumship reading, we can also have a situation where someone in spirit world steps forward to make amends. That's another very important thing, to make amends and ask for forgiveness, to explain themselves about their earthly behaviors or anything, um, or tell you that you do not have to feel guilty about anything at all, okay? And that they forgive you in case this is something you need to hear. So they can also come either to make amends, something they they really want to say, okay, forgive me, but it can also come, and this is very powerful, to tell you, please, you know, stop the guilt. You have nothing to feel guilty about. And this will help you as well. This is a form of guidance that will help you move on and move forward, okay? So here again, this will open a new door for you and, the li or, and or lift a weight off your shoulders and most importantly, help you to move on and start any needed healing process. So to summarize, whatever the reason for your loved ones in spirit world to step forward, this creates a space and time for you to start having a different understanding of any given situation and for you to start any healing that is deemed necessary. So through my mediumship, I do work closely in cooperation with the spirit world as they are the main, the main, you know, the main beings I'm communicating with and also the healing is in cooperation with the unseen world in general and this is just the amazing part of this healing and guidance process. So this 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 form of healing through mediumship reading through the spirit world is very powerful. It's actually extremely powerful and an effective treatment that can help you know you my clients and sitters on the physical, emotional, mental or spiritual level. This is very important to understand. So this healing can support the traditional medicine, but remember, and I, you know, I really want to, you to remember this, you always need to stay under any um, medical supervision, supervision of your own doctor, if applicable. As us, as healers, we are no doctors. We cannot, you know, we, we don't have the, the abilities to cure any, any proven illnesses, okay? So it's very important that you follow up any medical advice or doctor's advice. We just come here to complement what traditional medicine can do. Now, healing is the most important aspect in all facets of the mediumship activity. So whether it is a healing that you receive, you know, again, as a private uh, reading, private sitting, demonstration, a platform demonstration or seance, when the soul is touched, when your soul is touched, this is when the healing can take place. So there are no guarantees, again, for recovery or results. Healing in mediumship is a valuable additional method that can be used by the spirit world to heal the causes of a problem, not only the symptoms, the causes as well. Now, to be able to receive healing, it is also very important, it's actually vital to be open to it and to what can happen. So when you do come for a mediumship reading, please come with an open mind and be uh, like open mind and just be, um, be ready to receive uh, anything that will be sent to you. This is really how the amazing healing process starts as well. Be open, come with an open mind, open to receive what your loved ones are taking the time to come and give you, okay? 
Now, let's take some time to talk about the psychic side uh, of my readings and, has, and how this can help you with, with guidance and healing as well. So as you know by now, uh, for those who have, who have joined me now, I do then, I'm a therapist, a mind coach and a psychic medium based in Dublin, Ireland. So I do offer as well psychic insights during my readings. People who have already had readings with me will, will know that. So as we all know, all of us, sometimes in life, making a decision can be a challenge. It can be tough. And if you're, especially if, you, if we are undecided on what the outcome will be. So when we are faced with uh, challenges that could change aspects of our life, could be life changes, it is important to make sure that the decisions we make are the best for us, are going in our best interest. So choosing certain paths can often be easy if we, f if, if, if we all feel reassured in ourselves that it is the right path for us, okay? So often we should go with our gut feeling, but sometimes our instincts can be clouded if there are emotions attached to the decision, okay? So how can having a psychic reading help you to make an important decision and guide you? So as a psychic, I do work in all ethics, ethically, and will never, ever tell you what to do. Again, please, this is very important, remember that. I will never, ever tell you what to do as a psychic, as a medium. As a psychic, my role is to highlight the choices you have before you and give you my psychic insights on what could happen if you decide to take a certain, a certain path. For example, very, very, I would say, straightforward, the basic example would be, you may be undecided on whether to stay in your current job or whether you may not be very happy or move on to look for new employment. In this specific situation, I could look at your current job, perhaps using, again, just my intuition or using cards or other, you know, uh, tools that as, as a user psychic or pure, just clairvoyance and intuition and tell you exactly how, 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 I sorry, see and perceive the current circumstances and situation and how uh, the position would help you in the future if you stayed with that company, okay? Then I would also look at uh, what would come up for you if you decided to find a new job, quit the job and find a new job and tell you how I see it planning out for you, whether you will be happy and therefore whether it would be a good choice or not. So this is really the work we do on a psychic level. So my psychic readings are here, are there, sorry, to give you guidance and, sense, and insights. But ultimately, it is your decision to follow your choices, make that change in your life. Always remember, I'll repeat this, that your free will will prevail. Your free will should always prevail. Again, nobody knows at all. Nobody knows everything because this is totally against the law of the universe. Okay, so my psychic readings bring you insight, guidance and clarity to any concerns or issues in your life, helping you to often see situations from another angle, to step back from the emotions and look at life from a different perspective. And this is an important guidance tool because very often we have, when we are very much into something, our, all our emotions are very high, we don't always have the clarity to, you know, to be able to make the right decision or to take the next step. And this is where I come in or where we come in as, as psychics, okay? Now, remember, we are all responsible for the decisions that we make in life, okay? Some of which can be extremely difficult, and, but life-changing for the better, and some which are obviously easy to make. There's two types. The one that are very easy to make and the decision that might be very difficult to make, but that are also would be very beneficial for the future. Thank you to all the people that are joining us. Hello, everybody. Uh, sorry if I didn't, didn't greet you all individually, but I'm very pleased you're here uh, with me today. So I'll carry on on the psychic guidance, okay? So this is where we come in. If you really struggle to make a decision, you know, if, if you find it really difficult, and we will come here and give you the insight and show you that, yes, it is a difficult decision to make, but if you make the decision, this is the benefits you will get from it, okay? And, and obviously, if we are told by Psyche that after that and in the not too distant future, you will be the happiest you've been in a long time, it may give you a little nudge of encouragement, you know, it may help you. But here again, your own free will prevails. And of course, 
remember, remember, very important, the outcomes might change, they might differ depending on the decisions you make and dependent, depending, sorry, on the path you choose, okay? This is really important to, to summarize today. Whatever I give you on a spiritual level is guidance and help you to make decisions, help you to heal through psychic readings, through mediumship readings, but at the end of the day, you are in charge of your own life. You, you, we are, I am just a tool to help you in your life, to help empower yourself, to help you make the next move. So see me as a pure tool, an assistant, <laughs> if, if, if that makes things easier, a life assistant. But nothing and no one will ever replace our own, uh, our own free will and, and the way we really want to do things. You really need to see, and this is an advice as well, a personal advice, not just a, a professional advice. It's an advice that whatever you do in life, whoever you go and see, uh, the different types of healers, of, of you know, holistic practitioners, remember that we are just tools to help you. And remember also something I'll say very often, you as, as human beings, you all, we all already have the resources and the tools, you know, to, to, to actually do the best we can in life. But we just need uh, quite often this extra help, this extra nudge, you know, that will actually comfort us and, and tell us, oh yes, that's actually the right, the right move, okay? So uh, for those who have joined, joined us just recently, uh, I, I am a, a hypnotherapist, I am a mind coach, and I work also as a psychic medium, a working psychic medium. So, and I love what I do. This is not my career, this is my true calling. I really uh, want to stress this out because it's not, it's not a job, it's my passion. I want to help people. I've never seen this as a job. I really, what I really thrive in my life, I thrive is when I see that the people are coming to see me, are actually going away and then leaving me and are feeling empowered and are feeling they can take the next decisions in their life, you know? And this is through my therapy, my coaching, all my readings. And again, something I very much love is doing my psychic mediumship readings. And, and the mediumship reading is something so powerful. And it, it just, again, I, I could actually talk all day on, you know, on the mediumship. It, it's so amazing to understand that your loved ones are here around you. They care for you. And whatever happened when they were on earth, they, they don't have these earthly worries anymore. And if they come for forgiveness, it's an important step for them. And this is something you need to hear. At the same time, you know, if they come to tell you they forgive you, it is also a very important part of the healing process. But remember, remember on the mediumship side, the number one thing that you need to take away from a mediumship reading is that there is life after death. Okay, so whatever you go, whoever you go and see, remember that our role as mediums is to tell you, yes, this specific loved one is fine. This is who he is. This is what he is. This is what he's doing. This is how he was. This is proof of life after death. And then obviously the messages will come, the loving messages. But before anything else, us as a medium, our mission, our true calling is to show you that there is life up to death and that the, your loved ones are, are happy where they are and that they are here around you all the time and sometimes as well something i just want to mention uh, after the books or the records here is really that remember we're not in control of who's stepping forward from spirit world uh, i do have readings my colleagues you know uh, mediums have readings as well where spirit can come that you might know, not know. It might be a great grandmother, a great grandfather, a great uncle, a great auntie. But the very important thing to remember is that all our spirits, all our loved ones in spirit worlds are actually around us to help us with our, you know, earthly worries because they have their overall vision. They don't have their own earthly worries that they had and concern that they had when they were here on earth. So they have this clearer vision. The vision is not clouded like ours might be on earth. And this is why it's very powerful the way, you know, they can help guide and, and help you heal as well. Okay. So I really hope you enjoyed the, the talk today about how I can help through my um, psychic and mediumship readings. It is something I take very much at heart and I very much enjoy. It's actually really making me happy and I feel it. It's, it's a pure blessing. I don't think there's any earthly words that are powerful enough to say how 
how grateful I am of the trust of Spirit World in me, you know, and that I can actually relay the messages to, to all of you. So tomorrow I do another live talk at 12 on uh, therapy and coaching and how therapy and coaching can help you and power yourself and help you increase your confidence level and self-esteem. Okay, so if you want to tune in tomorrow, uh, same time, but tomorrow, 12 p.m. on Facebook Live. So thanks again for listening to me today. I will finish with a, a, a bit of a, a script or an exercise or really how um, you, can, you can increase your sixth sense or how you can, um, what we call the intuition or the, the third eye, okay? So... If it's comfortable for you to do so and safe for you to do so, I would just like you to close your eyes for a few minutes and just listen to my voice. So please don't do this if your attention is fully required or if you're operating any type of machinery of your driving. You need to be in a safe environment, in a quiet and safe environment. Okay, so close your eyes and just relax. You are unaffected by negativity and retain the ability to enjoy all of the warmth and joy that life has to offer. You are totally detached from negativity. You are open and receptive to love and to love only. You do not complain. You are love. You accept other people as they are without expecting them to change. You are patient, calm, and harmoniously centered at all time. You let go of all fear-based emotions such as blame, jealousy, guilt, possessiveness, etc. All negative emotions are now a part of your past. They are fading away. You are an independent and self-responsible person and fully realize that you have unlimited ability to create your own reality. You have unlimited ability to create your own ability. You are rapidly developing perception and psychic powers because you already have the psychic abilities inside you. The psychic power is within and is your divine right. Your psychic power is within and is your divine right. Infinite. Spirit gives you the wisdom to increase your psychic powers and awareness. You trust your intuitive processes. Your thoughts have psychic validity and you know you can trust your thoughts. You know you can trust your intuition. You have extrasensory and precognitive abilities. You listen to that inner self. You follow the magical path of intuition and psychic powers increase and increase and increase. Every day your awareness increases and you receive many flashes of intuition, many premonitions of things. You have the total ability to concentrate totally upon the subject of your immediate focus, whether business, pleasure or meditation. You keep your mind calm like still water. You remain centered at all times, physically relaxed, emotionally calm, mentally focused, and most importantly, spiritually aware. 
you can now come back to the room and open your eyes. And again, remember, remember that you all have psychic abilities and intuition. Remember that we just need to quieten the mind and listen to ourselves if we want to use them in our daily lives. So thanks again for listening to me today. I am very pleased to have had you all here today with me. If you have any questions or need any information on what I do, my therapy, my coaching, or if you require any information on my psychic mediumship readings, or if you wish to book any readings with myself, please PM me, text me or WhatsApp me or go to my website. I have put my website in the description box. It's www.nbhypnotherapy-mindcoaching.com As always, beautiful people and souls, remember you have all the resources to be happy and I'm only here to give it an extra bit of help. As always, you take care, you stay safe and we talk very soon. Bye-bye.